Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be doing a Sephora sale haul today. It's been a little bit actually since I've filmed the videos. This is like a good dipping my toes back into filming. Doesn't require the most, the most thought to do a haul. So thought this would be easy to do. And I have filmed a few videos a couple weeks back that I just really haven't been in the the mind space to finish up. So those will probably coming shortly after this, but this is just, this will be easy to get, this will be easy to get out. So yeah, I picked up a few things during the various sales that have been going on at Sephora. <laughs> and then uh, as I'm filming this right now, it is Black Friday. So I did, I did pick up a couple of things because of Black Friday that aren't Sephora related, but will be some sort of other haul anyways. Getting into it, I'll start with the uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I mentioned how I wanted this in my like luxury, I think it was my luxury beauty roundup video that I did. I don't remember when the sale was, so it's been a couple of weeks at least though that I have been using this. And I haven't been using very many powder, bronzer, or highlighter products in many many months i've definitely been cream and liquid predominantly especially in the highlighter front so it's kind of taking some getting used to the bronzer is really light but that's kind of nice with the bronzer so then i can kind of build it up i think i've just been so used to using these different like cream and stick products that are quite intense going in really nice powders quite pretty and then i picked up another one of Marc Jacobs Primrose Lip Liner, and I have already lost it. <laughs> uh, I have an old one right here. I cannot find the brand new one that I bought. I really hope it didn't fall out of my purse somewhere. Hopefully it's somewhere in my house or my car, because that would be very annoying <laughs> uh, to lose something that expensive uh, so quickly. And then I got a couple of lip products. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. I have the lip liner in this, which I really love, and this is quite pretty. The Matte Revolution formula is definitely quite dry, so I have to you know, make sure my lips are very moisturized. I have Super Cindy, I think is in the same, the same formula, which is a little bit more peachy. And this is like a, like a good nude, nude rose, totally my type of lip product. I love a good like dusty rose uh, or like brownie kind of neutral, anything that kind of like lives in that area. So I also picked up one of the new Fenty Lip Stunners, and I picked the color up in Uncuffed because this is like a dusty rose, which is totally my type of thing. And it looks, it looks different on me. There was a girl that I saw wearing this and it was just this most beautiful dusty rose on her. And uh, something about this just hasn't really worked for me. And the formula on this, I actually haven't really liked. I have the original red Lip Stunna paint and I love that formula. It, you know, it's it's not completely transfer proof, but it feels really good, lasts long, and I don't feel that I get like those weird little like feather situations around my lips. Things can like make their way upwards like spider, and this has been doing that. It's looked really, really pretty on other, other people and swatch wise, but yeah, I'm actually not a fan of that. And then I did pick up a couple of stuff during the bonus sale, mainly skincare, but I did also get another lip product as well. I had mentioned the Edible Beauty Gold Rush Eye Balm in, I think in my favorites video and maybe in a haul video as well. I've really been enjoying that eye balm really like it and a lot of you guys have mentioned edible beauty in comments to me just a skincare brand that i've been really interested in so they had like a discovery or some sort of kit for the holiday season so i picked that up you can tell that this stuff just came, just came earlier today and it comes in this really really actually quite beautiful printed bag and it's three items in like kind of travel sample sizes so this will be really great to test out the brand more so 
the Cleansing Milk, the Cocoa Bliss Intensive Repair, and the Sunflower Illuminating Face Oil. There's like the Sunflower Face Oil and then there's one other of their face oil. They have two of them, but I've heard really, really awesome things about both of them. They all have a uh, Kakuda in them as well but that has a lot of vitamin c in it so hopefully it'll be really beautiful and brightening uh -huh, on me so i picked that up and then also this is a new brand to sephora it's high high or high five they launched two products at sephora one is a moisturizer and one is a a serum and it has a really high concentration of CBD oil and I've just been very curious about that trend in skincare. It's just been everywhere. There's a lot of indie brands and there's like a lot of kind of like murky information in terms in terms of the of CBD. Hemp as an oil has been used for a really really long time, but CBD um it's supposed to have an effect on, is it the endocrinatic? I know I'm totally saying that wrong, but it's supposed to have an effect on your system in a kind of like an aptogen kind of way. So, and there again, aptogen kind of related skincare has been really big. So I, I went for the moisturizer and it has this really kind of like, well, whipped, almost gel-like, texture so i'll be curious to give this a try i've been slowly testing out a few different skincare items with cbd in them to kind of give some sort of like round up review in the future because there's so many now and so many different brands that are out there and then i also picked up the new mask from origin that also has cbd in it as well and this is supposed to be very calming and relaxing and hydrating which i kind of need right now i need hydrating i have been using all of my hydrating masks lately in rotation to kind of help bounce back my skin so i thought this would be fun to try out i've enjoyed the masks i've tried from origins i haven't really enjoyed anything else i tried like their spot treatment that came in that little blue bottle as well as their face like the ginseng face wash and the moisturizer and stuff and yeah, I just never got along with anything besides the face masks from them. I used to buy the little travel mini ones often and, and use those. So I thought maybe maybe I would get along with this or maybe I won't. And when I eventually do my CBD video, um, I'll, I'll let you know either way. And then lastly, the lip item that I picked up. It's actually technically two lip item and I have already misplaced one of them oh dear that's not good well i got uh this set this little set from charlotte tilbury the hollywood lips and it's two of the hollywood lipstick lip liquid lipsticks by charlotte tilbury and you get the color too bad i'm bad and showgirl and i have too bad i'm bad on so maybe i left this on my desk i also have a new puppy in my life and she has been running off with things when I set them down and I, I find them. So hopefully there's not like a big pink mess in the corner somewhere. But um, I'm wearing the other one right now and I actually really like the way it feels. It's a liquid lipstick, but it's not overly drying and it starts out as a mousse, very like moussey kind of velvet whipped texture, but then dries down. I really like it. I had read some people say that they didn't like how similar these looked. This one, definitely more of a bright pink, and then this one's a little bit more of like a deep berry. So similar, but different enough that I, I, I feel very validated in this purchase. And I love a good Charlotte Tilbury item, as you could tell, since I, I hauled a couple others. I was about to end the video, and then I realized I can't, I can't say new puppy in a video and not not introduce the puppy so this is lemon who's very tired um, as puppies are she plays hard and then she sleeps hard she came into my life a couple of days ago just by serendipity a friend posted on instagram about this dog that was just dropped off at her workplace and said if anybody wanted a puppy and uh i can't say no i can't say no to uh, any dogs so 
Uh, if you uh, follow me on Instagram or have like seen some of my videos, I've talked about my dog Hoyt. He's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. He's about seven now, and he's he's getting used he's getting used to be uh, not being an only dog. So um, and the the general puppy energy, but they've been getting along, and yeah, she is about three months old, we think. She's so she's so sweet. She's the sweetest. Oh, and she's trying to uh, eat the edible beauty products. Go figure. Anyways, she's she's now rotting around in all of my stuff, so I definitely should go. But anyways, that's her, and uh, I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.